Okay, now we're going to talk about stored procedures in Microsoft SQL Server and executing them in VBA. And first let's talk about what a stored procedure is. So sometimes when you write SQL, like select statements, insert, update, delete, you are not going to have simple stuff like this. The code, the, the amount of SQL statements might be 10,000 lines or 1,000 lines or hundreds of lines. In that case, you don't want to copy a thousand lines and lug it over to your your VBA program um, or other programs. Let me just delete this real quick. You don't want to lug it over to your VBA and insert a hundred lines here. That would be very cumbersome. You know, it's easy for us now because we've been dealing with simple stuff like this with only like very short SQL stuff. Once you start getting into more complex SQL, you want to use a store procedure. So let's see what a store procedure is. Um, here's our server in our data in our Microsoft SQL Server. Um, our Microsoft SQL Server environment, and here's our database, my company. In that database, I have a table called People right here, and if we select from it. You know, it looks like this. Uh, well, actually, no. The name, the ID name, and age field look like that. Uh, and let's say we want to write a store procedure that looks something like this. So, to find your store procedures in the database, you go to this programmability folder, and within that folder, there's a store procedure folder, and there's a store procedure here called Get People Data. If I right-click and go to Modify, I can see the store procedure. I could delete these lines they don't affect anything and first let's take a look at everything in our table so I'll do select star from people and I'm just looking at all the data here's all the data in our table called people and now I have a SQL statement here select ID name age and date from people where the ID is greater than this at ID this at ID is a parameter of this store procedure and it's an integer parameter. So basically what this is doing is that you can run this store procedure like this and you could pass in a parameter that's an integer like 7 and it will select everything from the table where the ID is greater than 7. In this case these four rows are greater than 7 so we should see four rows and if I run this I do see the four rows. If I change the ID to 47 now I'm only going to see this row because this is the only row where the ID is greater than 47. So if I run this, I get just the, for just that row. So we want to be able to execute this store procedure in VBA with this parameter because sometimes these store procedures here, you know, this is a very simple one. It's only two lines, but sometimes there are 100,000 lines, not 100,000, but hundreds of lines or thousands of lines and it's easier to work with store procedures sometimes than to do what we've been doing with just simple stuff like this so let me copy uh, the code here and right now I'm in this SQL database module I mean I'm looking at this uh, sub SQL database a sub procedure called SQL database I'm just gonna copy some code from it up to here I'm going to copy it, I'm going to go up, and I'm going to paste it in, and then put N sub at the bottom, and I'll, and I'll uh, change the name to underscore stored procedure. And we're going to be using a lot of the same objects we've done before. Uh, in the store procedure, uh, we're not going to need this SQL string so I'm going to delete that we're not going to need this name or age variables there um, and we can get started by you know just looking at what's going on uh, we're selecting the sheet database we're clearing its contents and then we're setting up our connection object here by telling it you know we want to open the connection to this Date this database on this server, you know, this server here, 
So that will open a connection to our database. Once we do that, uh, we're not going to do this uh, SQL string. What we're going to do is uh, set the store procedure. And we're going to do that by working with what's called a command object. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to do dim SQL command as ADO db dot command and we've already dealt with these SQL commands in in, in sort of a, a way before if we go to the code from the first couple videos on SQL Server uh, right where's it at Right here, this ADCMD text, when we did the insert, update, and delete, this told our object what kind of, what kind of command it is. And in this case, it's, it's a text command because this is actually SQL text. Now we're going to be dealing with the store procedure, so we are going to basically set up this command here as the store procedure. So let's do that now uh, by doing something like this. Uh, you know, set SQL command equal to new adodb dot command, and then we'll do SQL command dot active connection. So now we're setting the connection to our uh, SQL command, and that's going to be equal to our CN SQL. And then we're going to do SQL command dot command type. And this is going to be ADCMD short procedure. This is like maybe the most important line in the video because you're, uh, you're setting the command type. to be a store procedure. So now our command is going to be a, a store procedure with this connection. And then we can do a dot command text is equal to get people data. So here's where we actually say which particular store procedure do we want to deal with and we want to deal with this one get people data that's the name of our store procedure so we use that in VBA here by setting the SQL command dot command text equal to that and now we have to deal with the parameter so I'm gonna go up here and I'm just gonna declare an object called PRM as object and I'm going to set that object PRM equal to uh, SQL command dot create out create create parameter, and our parameter is going to be called ID because it's it's called ID right here. So it's going to be called ID. It's going to be an integer type. It's going to be an integer because it's an integer in our SQL store procedure here. I, it says int, that stands for integer. And then here it says, what kind of parameter is it? An input parameter, input, output, output. Ours is an input parameter. And then we can do uh, SQL command dot parameters dot add a dot append and we're appending so we declared an object and we set it we set that object PRM equal to a parameter and now we're appending that parameter onto our store procedure here so remember this this SQL command is sort of like our store procedure and I'm appending the parameter on it and now I can set the value of that by SQL command dot parameters dot value or the parameters ID dot value 
I'll set the value equal to 47 because that's what we set up here. You know, the parameter we passed in was 47. I want to set 47 as the value of our parameter here. And this is the ID parameter that we just created in this line. And then we can do set RS equal to new ADODB record set and RS equal to open. Uh, let's do SQL command. And this is what we've seen before, so this shouldn't be new, where this record set is going to hold the data that is returned from our SQL command. And the record set needs to know, you know, what do you want to, where do you want to get this data from? Well, we want to get it from the, this SQL command, which is our store procedure, with this connection. Actually, we don't need to set the connection here. So let's, let's do this a little bit differently. Uh, we don't want to set the connection again, so we'll, we'll do something like this. Um, rs dot cursor type is equal to ad static so I'll show you what's going on here ad open static and then rs dot lock type is equal to ad lock optimistic so what I'm doing here I'm setting the properties of this record set. And before I did that down here like this, you know, by doing rs.open and then here's the parameters, right? Uh, here's the cursor type and lock type and connection and things like that. Up here, I'm just going to do it a little differently. I'm just setting the parameters, but I'm just doing it differently. And down here is where I'm going to execute this line, rs.open SQL command. This is going to execute the stored procedure. And so if I run this just to see if we get any errors, we don't get any errors. I just executed the stored procedure. And now we can do what we did before, you know, check if the record set is blank. And then we could put the headers on the worksheet. Let's put let's do that in you know column one, two, three, four, five, six, column six. So we'll do that's that's column F. So let's put the columns there. Let's put the data there. I'm just gonna change this A1 to F1. And then this where do I want to put the data? I want to put it in column six. So if I run this now. I get my data from my store procedure. 48 Joe 45 915. That's exactly what I get when I run this store procedure in SQL Server Management Studio with the parameter 47 passed in. You know, it's the exact same data. Um, if you're lost on any of this, you know, I move kind of fast down here, but that's because we already covered this stuff. How to loop through how to loop through the record set and put the headers on the worksheet and put the data on the worksheet and check if it's check the record set if it's empty and things like that so the main point of this video are is this part here where you're working with a command object and you're saying it's going to be a stored procedure command you're giving it the name of the stored procedure you want you're adding parameters to it here with creating a parameter appending it and setting its value and then you're running the store procedure here. So this is the main crux of the video. Uh, if you confused by anything else, like the, anything else you see, go back and watch the other videos, the first couple videos on SQL, on Microsoft SQL Server. So that's it for this video. Now you know how to work with SQL Server and select, update, delete, insert, from SQL Server and at the same time work with these store procedures down here and and you could write crazy SQL statements you know hundreds of lines thousands of lines 
and now you can execute them using this uh, execute them using the code that we just that we just looked at you know this stuff here okay in the next in the next uh, in the next section or so we're gonna look at access as well so right now we've been dealing with Microsoft SQL Server which is very common out there in the world it's, it's a very commonly used database but so is Microsoft Access so we'll look at how to do the same sort of stuff with Access and it's not very difficult uh, because we already know the, the objects we're working with and all that stuff okay